everybody and welcome back to my channel. Lucky decided to join me this week. It's an absolute miracle. Um, I'm very excited this week because literally five minutes ago my new shoes arrived so I'm quite excited about them. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about though this week. So as we continue to get coronavirus more under control things are opening up which led to a very very exciting moment for me this week when um, I got to return to my native habitat the cinema. I'm so excited. Um, anyone who knows me knows that I go to the cinema a lot. Too much, some would say. I will add on to this that anyone who's in Aberdeen uh, and you're wanting to go to the cinema, um, can't say for Cineworld, but View, the policies and stuff they had in place there were totally fantastic, could not praise them enough. It started raining and I had to go get the washing in and now I can't remember where I was. Oh well. I remembered. So, what did I go and see? I went to see The New Mutant. I've been waiting on this movie for years. Anyone who's excited for it has been waiting on it for years. Finally we got to see it. Um, but that's not entirely what this video is about so I'll make my little review quick. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. There was stuff it could be improved on, but I, I really liked it. Um, Anya Taylor-Joy was fantastic as Ileana. Just anything with her in it was just awesome. Um, but I really enjoyed it. It's a fun movie. There, there is stuff that can be improved on, but I... Yeah, it was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I would watch it again. Which is the important thing. However, in watching The New Mutants, it got me thinking about the other X-Men films because um, they always make me really smile and they were probably the first sort of superhero films I got into and I was thinking, I was like, it's kind of crazy that the first one came out in I think 2000 it was? Yes, I think it was. And I was like, God, I wasn't... A lot of my <laughs> people think I've been into like superheroes and comics and stuff my whole life, but I'm not. It was probably the X-Men that got me into the film side of things to start with. Uh, as I sort of watched, started watching them sort of late 2000s, but I didn't really get into comics and stuff till I was 15. And so I was thinking on that and I was like, so I don't have a huge amount of nostalgia really for it, because I got into it a bit later in my life. <laughs> and so I was thinking then on stuff that I did watch and stuff that people are nostalgic for for the early 2000s, which is a lot of the sort of Disney Channel stuff. And I don't really have nostalgia for that because um, I didn't really have the Disney Channel growing up. I had it for a little period, but I, I missed out on a lot of stuff, like I've never seen any of the Zack and Cody stuff, That's a Raven, I think I've seen like one episode of Hannah Montana, uh, I've only seen episodes from like the first season of Phineas and Ferb, so a lot of that nostalgia I missed out on. I've never seen like any of the Nickelodeon shows, I, I'm watching a lot of Cartoon Network stuff now as an adult because I'm mature. <laughs> so I didn't have Disney Channel for long, however I did have it at a very good time, and that was the time when the High School Musical movies were happening. I think I saw the first one on DVD, I saw, definitely saw the third one on DVD, but I, I remember, this is the only thing that I genuinely remember watching on Disney Channel, was the second High School Musical movie, because I had a couple of friends from my theatre group round, they came late, so we had to watch it on Plus One, I had a little party for the premiere of it, and it was great. <laughs> That's like the only thing I really remember watching on Disney Channel. But um. In sort of thinking on this, um, I started listening a lot to the High School Musical soundtracks and I realised that as an adult I'd never watched those movies. So I did. For the first time in probably over, it's definitely over five years. Maybe getting closer to ten. It's been a while. But yeah, I watched them for the first time as an adult. And I really enjoyed it. And I had some thoughts and I wanted to share them with you. The first one. So I kind of um, have three sort of real points for the first one. Um, one, we're all in this together is um, an absolute anthem and um, just the whole soundtrack is fantastic. <laughs> um, I, uh, my second point, Zac Efron was not singing in the first one. His voice was dubbed over 
and I never really noticed it as a child. But now that I have seen him in many other musicals, and I'm like, he's very good. I'm very aware that it's not Zac Efron, and it does annoy me. Just ever so slightly. Another thing that I'm kind of finding now as an adult is, um, Sharpe and Ryan were not the bad guys. So I kind of thought they were as a kid. I was like, oh, they're going against Troy and Gabriella? No, they were right. They worked very hard to sort of do theatre, and then in come these guys. And it's like, we're going to take your spot. And I'm like, no, I get why they were annoyed. I get it. Uh, however, though, so when you do listen to like the songs that Troy and Gabriella sing from the musical, it sounds like it's a bit of a romance in the musical, the romantic leads they were going for. And then you had, I think, Sharpay and Ryan were siblings, and they were auditioning for the same parts. Little weird. But yeah, that film is... is great. It's so good. All the songs are great. When you... I just wish, I wish Zac Efron was singing it. That's my, that's my big critique. And um, I'm slightly irritated at younger me for thinking that Shroppy and Ryan were the bad guys. Because let's be honest, <laughs> they're the best. The second one. So as I said before, I had a party for the second one and it was great. I just remember having the party and that I enjoyed it. I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> but yeah, the second film, the second film is also very good. I mean, they're all very good. Let's just say that out there. They're great. Guilty... I mean, they're not really guilty pleasures. They're just great movies that we should all be watching more. <laughs> However, I began to notice. I was like, oh yes, there's some patterns to these films. Like in every... everyone. Troy and Gabriella break up. They have a bit of a breakup song. Um, there's always a song where Troy Bolton is conflicted. It's usually... usually sports-based, <laughs> these songs. If the song is not directly talking about sports, he's in a sports environment as he sings them. <laughs> I like, I do, I do like the Troy Bolton is conflicted songs. They're really good. <laughs> Biggest thing though I noticed with this is I've seen a few things about the sort of Chad and Ryan relationship, and it's, I was like, hmm, this is interesting, and um, there's obviously the infamous scene in which they have switched clothes. Um, by the way, I'm not showing any clips because I'm a very small channel and I don't want to get a copyright strike. Even though I think it would come under fair use, I'm taking no chances. Anyway, yeah, there's the infamous scene where they change clothes. <laughs> but listening to I Don't Dance, which is an absolute bop, I noticed some other things. There's the, I believe it was a vine, in which showed Chad dancing repeatedly. So we're all aware that Chad can dance. Which begs the question, what is that song really about? Anyway. <laughs> Another thing I actually started to notice during the second film, and that I'm like, hmm, this is the thing, is that Taylor is very underappreciated, I think. Of all like the sort of six main guys, she's kind of the one that's, she's just the best friend. That's kind of her plot. Like, even within the second film, Chad, in the third film, yeah, uh, Chad has a bit more of a plot, but I feel like she's very underappreciated. Just out of like the main six, she's kind of like, she's almost like a background one. Well, the final one. So the final High School Musical. When it came out, I wasn't the biggest fan. Controversial. Um, I enjoyed it, but I was like, a little disappointed. I didn't really, I didn't rewatch it as much as the other two either. But um, I think looking back now, I think I was just annoyed that it was over. I think I was like, oh, it's the end. It's kind of sad, and it kind of translated into, oh, didn't. Meh, my opinion of the film. Going back now, though, it is, I think, the underappreciated success of the trilogy. I have found that as I've been re-listening to the soundtracks, I keep getting drawn to the High School Musical 3 soundtrack a little bit more than the others. For the second one, they were starting to find their feet. By this film, they know what they're doing. These are some top-class actors who know that they're, like, finishing off a trilogy of films that will live on forever in the hearts of young people. I mean these movies are spectacular and um, and they knew it, 
I think. And they did a really good, really good job with it. But yeah, I, I think High School Musical 3 is very underappreciated within the trilogy. I think they ended it really well and I'm, I'm slightly annoyed at young me for not appreciating it as much as I did. <laughs> Anyway though, like many people, I did, uh, as a young person, end up going to see the stage production of High School Musical. Um, and in my sort of deep dive, I got, I got mildly obsessed for like three days where I was like, how much High School Musical content can I consume? I will watch the series at some point. I don't have Disney Plus at the moment. The Mandalorian Season 2 is coming out, so I may get it. <laughs> but I um, sort of did a deep dive. I never realised there was a stage production of the second film and I'm annoyed that I never saw it. Um, so I'm like, a little bit of me is like, God, I wish they were still doing productions because I don't think they really do it outside of schools anymore. But I'm like, oh, I wish they still did productions of this and I could just see the second, second one. Um, do I also want to do a production of the musical in which I play Sharpay Evans? Of course I do. I mean, I'm only human. <laughs> but yeah, so that is my opinions on watching High School Musical as an adult. I think we all should do it more. They're just... They're just so good. <laughs> they're so brilliant, and they came at just the right time. And I'm, I'm so glad that I had the Disney Channel just at the right time to really enjoy those movies. But, um... But no, like I said at the start, though, as an adult, I am watching a lot of Cartoon Network stuff, and... Maybe at some point uh, I will get round to watching some of these Disney shows that people are nostalgic for. Um, if you would, if there's any shows from the Disney Channel or Nickelodeon or anything like that that you think I should have a look at and watch a few episodes of, leave it in the comments. I may do a video sometime down the line going back and watching Disney Channel stuff. You never know, I need content for this channel. <laughs> I'll do, but yeah, no. If people if people have recommendations for what stuff is really worth me actually going back and checking out, please let me know. It would be greatly appreciated. But in summary, the High School Musical trilogy is the greatest trilogy of our generation. Miko's back inside, and I went to the cinema, and I'm living my best life right now. And I got new shoes. Like, comment, subscribe and all that jazz and I will see you guys next time. Bye!